very good morning. I know it looks like the evening. It's not. It's not actually that early. It's like, Alexa, what time is it? 7.08 a.m. 7.08? But we've been up. I say we. Elliot and I have been up since like half six. That's not too bad. That's actually great. And maybe he woke up 10 past six. Um, AB is still asleep. My sweet angel. It wasn't awful, but last night both of them were just randomly awake at like 20 past two. Gabe on and off, I think, has been having nightmares or something. Not every night, but every now and again, randomly he'll just cry, like really cry or scream. He's lying down and I'm quite sure he's still asleep, but he's just really upset. Sometimes he's awake and he'll kind of sit up. It's, it's only been a couple of occasions, I've, like he's wanted me to sit in with him and hold his hand. And he isn't able, he still isn't speaking, so he's not able to like call for mummy or like say if he's had a bad dream or if he's scared or anything. So I'm just kind of guessing, but he like, if he's lying down, I rub his back, he's okay. And then I get up to leave and he gets upset. Um, then when I'm sitting by his bed, he's kind of reaching out, trying to hold my hand. <laughs> my little angel. Occasionally, depending on what time it is and like how awake he is, I will then just bring him into bed for a cuddle for a little bit than me sitting by his bed at two in the morning. God knows when he's going to fall back to sleep. We don't really get broken nights, which we're very happy about. So when it does happen, it's always a bit like, oh God, what's going on? <laughs> we're going to my mum's this morning. Um, we were supposed to go yesterday. Then a job came up for Hainsley, like quite last minute yesterday afternoon. And we could have left yesterday evening, but my mum's down in Somerset. And by the time we would have left here, it would have been about six or seven. And then where my mum is, like the other side of the busy roads when we get to her, it's really, really dark. I was like, let's just leave like first thing Tuesday. It's my grown up angel. Hello. Who is that? Is that a gorgeous angel? It is a gorgeous angel. Hi, good morning. So I didn't vlog anything at my mum's because there was nothing really vlog worthy. Everyone's been ill. Elliot is so chesty, my poor sweet angel. And then Gabe, he is possibly having, like, just being a bit clingy, like going through a clingy phase. He's really clingy at home, like wants to be with me all the time. Um, like if he's drinking his milk, he wants me to sit on the sofa with him so he can lay on me and drink it. It's very sweet. I can't say that I don't hate it, that I don't hate it. I can't say that I hate it, but at 4 a.m., it's not so sweet and again like Gabe can't speak to us so it's really like times like this make it really difficult I'm gonna try not get oh god I don't want to get upset things like this are really difficult when he can't tell us Whew. oh my god I did not mean to get upset but basically he's obviously upset like he's waking up crying if he's having a bad dream or if he gets scared in the room by himself. Like he's he's older now, so he's realizing that he's in a dark room by himself. <laughs> so I don't know what the root of it is, but he's waking up and it's not every night. And I do think it's been half term. So I do feel like once he's back at nursery next week, hopefully it should go back to normal and he sleeps pretty much straight through. It's just like the not knowing. And I've really, like, I've had a really shit week because I've, I've been really upset about everything. God, I really didn't think I was going to get upset, but not being able to communicate with him is really, really getting me down. I'm just having a, a sad week where I just feel really sad about it. The fact that it's just so hard. And, like, I know it's hard to communicate with toddlers, but if your toddler can at least tell you that they've had a bad dream or what they might want to eat, don't ever take that for granted. They may not eat what they say they want to eat, but if your toddler can communicate some wants and needs to you, that, like, just please don't ever take that for granted. Because when they go on, it's so hard. Oh my God, I'm supposed to be doing my friend's hair and I can't be upset. I also want to show you my new jewelry because that's really cheered me up. <laughs> I really don't mean to get upset, but it's Monica Mid. Ah! Sweet to see you! Oh, I'm just vlogging, so let me vlog your entrance. Oh, you look so cute! Sir, you don't look like you're still, but I can put your cold hands. This is our cat. 
and then look at that gorgeous color stunning very good length beautiful cut isn't it I'm just stunning stunning cut <laughs> slightly later in the day obviously kids are in bed well Gabe's having a bath with daddy I'm about to cook dinner and I'm really relieved and thankful grateful and happy that this portion of the vlog is sponsored by hellofresh and i was able to order our hellofresh box to come for when we got home from my mum's so that i knew i wouldn't have to worry about what we've got in the house to eat for dinner and even like putting anything together because everything's portioned out perfectly for you if you don't know what hellofresh is they are recipe boxes that you get delivered every week every two weeks every three weeks kind of whenever you need and you can have them for two people three people four people and you go online you pick your recipes every week and you get sent them with everything perfectly portioned out all of the ingredients are there you don't have to think about anything so especially if you have been away and you're coming home and you haven't got a chance to go and do big shop or if like us you're a family you have young children you're working you're very busy or alternatively if you don't have kids and you are just working and have a very busy life it just takes the stress out of having to think about what to have for dinner every night so it's a really nice thing to have some weeks because i just feel like when i know it's a hello fresh week it's like oh, i don't even have to think this week about what we're going to eat it's just right there and it's always always delicious so here we are hello fresh has arrived I've actually already half unboxed this because some of the things meat specifically have to go in the fridge straight away you get your recipe cards all of the cold stuff is in a bag that then goes in the fridge straight away and then they've all got numbers on and then you get the bags of the dry ingredients or the stuff that doesn't need to go in the fridge perfectly portioned out so it's that easy they've got all different menus and you can choose they've got family menus they've got quick menus they've got like a winter warmers edition now because obviously it's winter and i mean it's raining tonight perfect but yeah they've got all different types of categories for recipes so you can pick whatever kind of resonates with you i usually go for quick because i need to eat quickly i'm usually very very hungry by this time so i need to get that dinner on the table should we go for the chicken salad should we go for the green curry the Thai green chicken curry takes 20 to 25 minutes. So I think we're gonna go for this one tonight. And I also love that there's pictures, so I know that I'm doing everything right. Instructions are really easy to follow. There's also like all of your nutritional information down here. So if you are conscious about what it is that you're consuming, it's all there for you. And I always say this every time I work with HelloFresh, it's because of HelloFresh that I learned how to cook rice properly because I could never, ever, ever cook. I could never get it right. And I can now, thanks to HelloFresh. So it's worth that alone. Alexa, stop. <sighs> that smells. There we go. Ready to serve. Okay, going in. That is stunning. Groundbreaking work. <laughs> that was absolutely delicious. As always, I've got a little something for you at home, an offer that you can't refuse if you're interested in trying HelloFresh, and I would hugely encourage it, especially coming into winter, and try out some of their winter warmers that they've added to their menu. It's just the season for cooking, isn't it? It's the season to just hunker down in the evening, have a nice drink and cook a yummy, delicious meal. So I have a code for you. And if you use my code, you will get 60% off of your first box and then 25% off of your boxes for the next two months. If you get a box once a week for two months, so like eight weeks, you'll have 25% off of every one of those boxes. But you don't have to do every week. You can do every other week or every three weeks or whatever. And I've also got a QR code, which I will put somewhere around this side, which you can scan. Um, and then that will take you straight to where you need to be. All the details will also be down below. There's a link you can click that will take you straight where you need to be. If you use my code, which is 6060MaryF, will get you 60% off your first box and 25% off of the boxes following for two months. I hope you guys do give it a go because honestly, it's one of the best things that you could do for yourself. Just ensuring that you're eating really good food. Thank you as always to HelloFresh for working with me on this. So I am now going to, we have a little bit of chocolate and we're going to watch Married at First Sight because that's what we do on our evenings these days. Oh, good morning. 
Um, I actually meant to vlog before today, it's Saturday morning, and the last time I vlogged was earlier this week. And then I was working a lot. Earlier this week? No, was it even last week? And then I've been working. I was working all over the weekend. I'm quite sure that's what it was. Working basically all over the weekend up until Tuesday. I was then off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But then they just turned into quite manic days. And yeah, those were kind of three days off. But when you're a parent, you're not really off. Because I have a 10 month old to look after and Gabe to drop at nursery. Also, Elliot's got a chest infection. My poor angel, I've said he's been a bit, had a bit of a crackly chest. Right, do you just want to wait? Quite clear, I'm driving out. Anyway, real road rage when I drive. I just get rage, to be honest. <laughs> road, life. Anyway, Elliot's got a chest infection, so I ended up taking him. So Wednesday, I just wasn't gonna vlog because I was like, I need a day just to reset and get myself together. We ended up having a really bad night's sleep on Wednesday night because Elliot was really upset for a couple of hours. Um, so then I was like, I'm gonna take him to the doctor. This cough has been going on for, honestly, like three weeks now. So yeah, I said to Hainsey, like, I'm just gonna take him to the doctor in the morning. So Thursday, I ended up taking him to the doctor. And then because of that, it was just a busy day. And then before I know it, I have to go and pick up Gabe. And then Friday, I had to go to Gabe's nursery to do a, a welly walk yesterday morning to raise money for their Christmas activities. It's so cute. And that was fine, but I just, uh, I'm also just very emotional most of the time at the moment from the beginning of this vlog. Like I just, I'm finding things like that group activities with other kids at the moment I find is quite a lot for me to deal with and overwhelming and quite upsetting. I'm not going to talk about it too much because I don't want to just cry throughout this whole vlog because I honestly feel like I just cry all the time at the moment. <laughs> yeah, so then yesterday I just didn't feel particularly peppy, I suppose. And now I'm just heading into the salon because I've got two clients today, which will be lovely. Um, vlogging in the car wasn't working, so I stopped. Right, I just had to pop to Sally's because I needed to get two tubes of colour because I'm doing my friend's hair this afternoon and she, we cover her grey. We use a semi at the moment. Um, however, she's got one particular patch which is quite stubborn. So I said to her last time, um, just on that bit, we could maybe try doing permanent and see if it helps cover it slightly better. But I need to go and get the, the, the colour permanent, basically. What was I just saying to you? A very up and down week, a very up and down time. Like, again, I don't want to get upset, but I, I just feel like it's a really tough time. So, yes. I'm just going to get ready for my client because I need to, like, sort out the salon but i will show you um i've realized that you haven't seen the salon since it's been in like up and running so i will show you the salon um at some point today but i need to charge this battery and i need to get myself ready for the day and just not be upset anymore and make a coffee and god these bags <laughs> anything i can do with these before my client comes in probably not a little bit of an eye lift in 20 minutes, no? I have just finished my first client who was lovely. I've done her once before um, and she's a returning client. She came with her cousin when I first did the hair. And I'm actually finished a lot earlier than I thought it would be. So I've texted my friend and said, oh, if you wanted to come a bit earlier, I'm free, but no pressure if not. And so I thought I would take this opportunity to show you the salon so far. Because yeah, I haven't shown you anything since we've been up and running. But I'm at the front door now. So this is like the salon when you walk in. And I think you've seen this chair, and then I've got my little sideboard here. So on here, I'm not gonna have the iPad um, here all the time, and the Alexa and card machine, I want to kind of cut, if I show you at the back, like the, the back of it, I want to cut a hole in so I can put those in through the back, if that makes any sense. So that there's nothing on here, because I'd like to have just a big ceramic moment with like eucalyptus sprigling out everywhere in like a very ice spoon, I see in a Calderon type way. If I go back a bit here, this is the section. So I've got my chair, my mirror, and my little side table. This is from Numa. I absolutely love this side table. And then my basin over there. Next to the basin, I have my little trolley that I had in my old place. And so I've got my shampoos, treatments, conditioners, and then there's usually towels 
um, stacked at the bottom. And then that little spray over there is Metal Detox, which is a L'Oreal um, like pre-color treat. Yeah, this is the section here. I've got my trolley and my stool. And then I've just got this coat hanging thing in this corner just for now, because I basically wanted to just kind of move in and feel it out a bit and see how much room we had before deciding on whether to get another section. So another chair and mirror situation. And I think now that I'm in, this is quite a big space so i think i will get another mirror to go like lean up against this back wall and the chair the back of the chair will be facing us if that makes sense and then i will move this over to behind that little pillar bit there so it's kind of out the way this does feel like a very big kind of empty space this bit here so i could definitely get another section in i'm so pleased with how it's come together like i just love this section i love this wall i think i've said that before but yeah so yeah i'm gonna wait for my friend i've also discovered that the cafe down the road does the most amazing bacon and brie bagel. So I think I might go get one of those for my lunch because I'm quite hungry. I didn't bring anything with me. I have just got home and no one's here, which indicates to me that Hainsley's taken the boys out for a walk. It's quarter to five, so I'm assuming they'll be home shortly because that's Gabe's dinner time. I was going to have a little sit and a chill, but I'm going to put my, oh, put my tracksuit bottoms on. And show you my jewellery that I meant to show you whenever it was when I was vlogging and I got interrupted as always ignore how messy everything is oh okay right so I've got some jewellery bits to show you I started it all was going finally going to Astrid and Mew and changing a couple of my earrings because I'd bought um, I bought two Astrid and Mew earrings in the sale ages ago the piercings are really hard to get out so I never went and got them sorted. A store opened near me in my town um, and I was like brilliant I'll go and get them to change my piercings. Still never did. Anyway went like two weeks ago finally got them changed and so the first is this one here the conch. I think that's such a weird name for a piece of the ear but anyway can you see it's one of those ones that just sits really nicely in the ear. I absolutely love this so much and then the second is this one that's in my tragus. And this is a lotus flower. I just think it's really pretty. So that's what kind of uh, jump-started this jewellery, as well as this ring. So my lovely friend Danielle, who has an Instagram account called Little Fash Bird, has collaborated with a gorgeous jewellery brand called Maven A to create like a capsule jewellery collection, of which I now have three pieces. She was really kind and reached out to me and asked if I wanted to pick a piece to be gifted. I was supposed to go to the launch, but I ended up having ill children and wasn't able to go but this is the piece that I picked I believe this is called the crackle ring and it's got pearl in it she pairs it then with this ring so she sent me this and I was really pleased to receive it also the packaging it's like a really nice I actually want to paint my salon this kind of terracotta color you can see it says Danielle Ward and Maven A um, and then you open it and your jewelry's in there so just such beautiful packaging in her shoot for the jewellery and also the way that she wears it, she pairs this ring with this one, which is called the wave ring. This is just a, a gold ring that is shaped like a wave. Kind of wear these together so they slot over each other and fit together beautifully. And now I feel like I can't wear one without the other. I just love it. I think it's such a pretty stack. So I ordered these earrings here and I'm not sure what they're called but I will link them. But they're just really pretty, like kind of half hoops. Also from Astrid and Mew actually, I got this little sparkly um, huggies, one on each ear. And then these are just Monica Vinader in the middle. I feel like my ears <laughs> are finally complete. It was something I'd wanted to do for ages and I just didn't have ear jewelry that I loved. Now I feel like I do and these two new rings. I've got these two Monica Vinader ones that I wear all the time now. And this is just a little Argos, <laughs> Elizabeth Duke number. So that's that. I also have one more piece of jewellery, which is from Monica Vinader. And for those of you that don't know, I do have a Monica Vinader code that gets you 20% off. Always leave in the description bar. Because before I got these two, I ordered this ring. I wanted like another kind of statement ring and I'd, been, I'd seen this one on Monica Vinader. And so I just ordered it and wanted it. And it's this, I think it's the Lauren Young collaboration. I believe she's a stylist. And I ordered it to go on this finger. Statement hand now, isn't it? But really good for party season. This reminds me very kind of, but not really, of the YSL Artie ring. Does anyone remember that ring? I do still have it actually. 
rings I bought for myself when I started working after uni and had my first job. I think I bought it with one of my first paychecks because it was like the ring to have and I do still have it. This very, has a very kind of loose connection. It looks quite similar. Anyway, it's a tiger's eye. Oh, can you see that? Oh, there we go. See all of them there. As I say, I have a Monica Veneta code that I will link 20% off for you um, as it's party season. What better excuse? Okay, kids are in bed. It's coming on really to end this vlog here. I'm just gonna pour a glass of Prosecco for Hainsey and I, because we have this. One of my lovely clients bought this to me to say congratulations for the salon. So we're gonna have some of that. We've ordered a takeaway because it's Saturday night and that's what you do. We're gonna watch Married at First Sight. So that's what we're gonna do for our Saturday night. I hope you enjoy yours. And yeah, I'm just gonna um, thank you so much for watching. I feel like not a lot happened in this vlog, but I am gonna vlog next week and I've got lots of fun things happening. So hopefully next week won't be so A, emotional and also just exciting things happening. Anyway, I'm gonna stop apologizing for my general existence and thank you as always for watching. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.